Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. This is Crew Gerald again and today guys we're going to make another vlog and this vlog is actually because there's a question raised by my student online. She literally has a hard time understanding which expression is correct to be used when you ask where someone is or when you look for somebody else. Is it, did you see John this morning or have you seen John this morning? Which is which? So that's what I'm going to teach you about. And there's a plus. I'm going to give you some important points on how to use present perfect verb tense. All right. So I'm going to give you some clear points on these topics. So you check it out. So we're going to talk about which expression is correct and appropriate to be used when you ask where someone is or when you look for somebody else. Is it the first expression that we have here? Have you seen John this morning? Which is in the present perfect verb tense. Or the second expression that we have here, did you see John this morning? Which is in the past simple verb tense. Which is which? Actually, both of them are correct. But of course, we need to consider the situation. So I'm going to give you the clear rule for this. For example, it's 10.30 in the morning. The best expression that we can use for this is, have you seen John this morning? Why? Because the morning hasn't finished yet. How about, if it's in the afternoon and the morning has finished. Well, if it's 2.30 in the afternoon, the expression that you're going to use is, did you see John this morning? That same rule applies with these expressions. Have you eaten your lunch yet? Or have you had your lunch yet? Or did you eat your lunch? So if it's in the morning and like 9.30 in the morning and you're asking the person if she has eaten her lunch, then you say, have you eaten your lunch yet? Or have you had your lunch yet? Have you had your lunch yet is more natural. Most native speakers use this one. And if it's in the afternoon, then the best expression that you're going to ask is, did you eat your lunch? This time, I'm gonna give you some important points about present perfect verb tense. I know, it's a little bit difficult for non-native speakers. Sometimes, we're confused how to use them in our sentences and even in our conversation. But of course, in order for us to improve our English comm skill, we really have to learn how to use them appropriately in our sentences and of course in our conversation. So let's start. For present perfect sentences, we have keywords like still, just, already, and yet. These words will signal you that you need to use present perfect verb in your sentences. We have here some examples of present perfect sentences with the keywords. Now, we have here four sentences. Let's start with the first one. I still haven't called Yumi. We use the word still, which means something hasn't happened. Now, please take note of the position of the word still in the present perfect sentence that we have here. Do not forget, still should always be positioned after the subject, followed by the present perfect verb tense. So you say, I still haven't called Yumi. He still hasn't called me. Or she still hasn't cooked food. Okay, so that's how you're going to do it. And it's always used in negative sentences. The second one is the keyword just, which means short time before. Now, just is always positioned between have or has, 
and the past participle or verb three. Look at this example. I have just seen Sai. See? Just is between have and seen. Always. Now, it's used for positive and interrogative sentences or questions. We have the third present perfect sentence with a keyword already. Please take note of the position of already there. More naturally, it is positioned between has or have and the verb three or past participle. So it should be, I have already had lunch, not I have had lunch already. So for this one, you need to use this for positive and interrogative sentences or questions. The last one is the keyword yet, and we have here a present perfect sentence with this keyword. Now, yet is positioned after the verb clause. So we always see that at the end of the sentence. So like, we haven't decided what to do yet. I haven't eaten my lunch yet. So we use this for negative and interrogative sentences. By the way, yet means at any time up to now. Now let's check our understanding. I have here four present perfect sentences. All of them have errors. So please help me in correcting these sentences. Let's have the first one. Tony hasn't taken a bath still. Well, we said that still should be after the subject if we use it in a present perfect sentence. So let's delete this one and we insert it here. So you have Tony still hasn't taken a bath. That's perfect. Now let's have number two. My brother has been married already. This is actually okay, but more naturally, we need to have or to change the position of the keyword already. It should be between has or have plus verb three. Therefore, we need to change this, delete here, and then insert it here. So the sentence is now correct. Let's move on to the third present perfect sentence. We have here, she just has got up from bed. Now, there is an error. Just should be placed between has or have and verb three. So, we need to delete this one and change it here. Insert that one. There you go. So, you say, she has just got up from bed. That's perfect now. And the last one, you have, I haven't received yet the email. Oh, yet should be after the complete verb clause. So we have, I haven't received the email yet. She should be, it should be at the end of the sentence. There you go. So that is how we're going to construct present perfect sentences with keywords. Again, we have, Tony still hasn't taken a bath. My brother has already been married. She has just got up from bed. I haven't received the email yet. Perfect. That's pretty much it for today, guys. Thank you so much for staying with me. And I hope to have you again in the next vlog. And of course, if you have some suggestions, comments, and reactions, do not hesitate to comment down below. Everything will be highly appreciated, okay? And of course, do not forget to click like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more updates. I love you guys always. Again, this is Crew Cheryl. Thank you so much for learning English with me. I love you all.